This week in lab, we'll be talking about the energy content of food. The basic premise behind this lab is the law of conservation of energy, which states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can just change form or location in a system. So the amount of heat lost by a system is equal to the amount of energy gained by another system. To measure the energy content of foods and other things, a device called a calorimeter is used. So at the top right, that's how they that's what it looks like in a more like professional setting. And the bottom picture here with the Coke can is what we're going to do in our lab. So the basic idea behind a calorimeter is that you can figure out the heat gained by the calorimeter through this equation here, which is M times C times delta T. So M is the mass of the water plus the can. C is the specific heat. And delta T is the change in temperature. Specific heat is the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of one gram of a substance, one degree Celsius. So there are, these are already um, measured for water and aluminum. Um, well, we're really just worried about the one for water for the slab, which is one calorie per gram degree Celsius. So this is the value for C that you'll use in your equation to find the heat change. The heat of combustion relates the amount of energy lost by a food item to the mass lost. So this is designated by a capital Q, and that equals the heat change divided by the mass of the food lost while being burned. So here's an example problem um, based on what we're going to do in lab. So if we burn 0.134 grams of cashew oil under our Coke can calorimeter. The temperature increased from 22 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius. And our mass of water in the can was 123 grams. So based on our um, equations, remember that Q equals the mass times the specific heat times the change in temperature. And we just saw that the change in temperature was 34 minus 22 degrees Celsius. So for our equation, we're going to input the mass of the water, which is 123 grams, multiplied by the specific heat of water, which is 1, and then multiply by our temperature change, which was 12 degrees Celsius. And we end with 1,476 calories. That's the units for the heat change. So now that we have found the amount of calories in the system, in the food, we want to figure out how many food calories are in our cashew oil. So to do this, we can divide our um, 1500 calories that we just calculated from the heat change equation divide by our mass of our food item and now we have 11,000 calories per gram so we want to eventually get to food calories so you can see that conversion in red which is one k cal equals one food cal so from going from calories to kcal, you just divide by 1,000. So we have 11 kilocalories per gram. And as we see up there, kilocalories equals food calories. So we ended up having 11 calories per gram for our cashew oil in this experiment example. So we're going to do that with a Cheeto in our video. Um, we're going to figure out the amount of calories in the Cheeto by burning it under our makeshift can calorimeter. And we 
can compare it to the nutrition facts on the label to see if we were close.